Just a quick update on 4090s. Connectors are still melting. We are still getting about 20 cards a week. When was the first time I worked on a 4090 card? The first 4090 card I worked on was January 20, 2023. We still get those cards every single day. I would say about 20 cards a week, 80 to 100 cards a month. In case you do not know about the problem or you have not been following, that's what's happening with 4090s connectors. They are melting, they're burning. You pay $2,000 for the cord, you use it like you should, and the connector still melts. And I have another one here that we need to work on. And same issue. I'm not gonna do both in one video, I'll just do one of them. This one is less burned than the other one. You can tell we have the top one, two, three, four, five. Five pins burned. Whereas the other one, we have a lot more. But it doesn't matter if we have one or 10, we have to change the connector. What can you do, right? Companies are not honoring warranties. And that is the reason why we are getting a lot of those cards in the shop here. Before we start the video, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is a China Shenzhen based PCB manufacturer and printed circuit board assembler with more than a decade in the field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They offer a wide variety of services, including 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, and much more. PCBWay is committed to meeting all your PCB needs. They offer quality on time delivery and competitive pricing. One to two layer boards starts at $5 with 24 hours turned around. Get an instant quote by visiting PCBWay.com or click on the link below and make sure to check them out. Let's start with card one. Now to remove the connector, what we need to do is apply low melt solder so we can mix low melt with unloaded. That will lower the melting temperature of the joints so we can easily remove the connector. I mentioned this many times before, since video number one, since the video that we did in January 2023. We use low melt solder so we do not have to apply a lot of heat onto the board. It doesn't matter how much heat you apply onto the board, it's going to take a long time before you are able to remove that connector. You're going to stress out the board. The board is what? 12 to 15 layers. The board has to absorb all the heat before it reaches the melting temperature of unleaded solder and that's when joints will liquefy. So we do not just keep applying heat to remove that connector. What we do is we use low melt solder. I always talk about the magic of using low melt solder. Right now I just applied original Inventac Amtac Flux. We are one of the biggest distributors and resellers of the Flux. As well as low melt solder. You can purchase directly off our site. Just log in to northwitchfix.com, click on shop, add to cart, check out pay, and we almost always ship out same day. All the tools that we use on our bench for the most part is sold on our site. Fume extractor on. And now we're going to start by applying low melt solder. We want to make sure that low melt solder gets mixed with unleaded. And we're going to do the same here. Now we can also use the help of our hot air station. No problem. We're going to jump over to this one. See how flux helps with the flow of low melt solder. All 
All right, so we soaked all the pins with Lomat solder. Right now, I do not have the anti-glare light on, but that's okay. We can still see what's going on. I think we forgot a pin right here. We have a customer. Just a minute, we have a customer. Uh, How are you? Yeah, I would like to replace a motherboard. Replace a motherboard on which one? Uh, do you have the motherboard? Yes, I have. Okay, one. let me see. And how do you know the motherboard that you bought is working? Yeah, they tested. Well, you bought it from where? From eBay? Uh, no, from actually from uh, uh, Alibaba. Okay. Let me see. Dell Alienware. A lot of things to get Next. done. One more. Oh, one well, 4090? Yes. <laughs> no way. Another 4090. Let's read what the customer wrote. Is it a connector issue? And Let's read what the customer wrote. One of the front pins on the card is bad. Card is not working. It's a support put arrows pointing to pins. Great, it's a connector issue. And customer also mailed an expedited service check. We require all customers to mail in a check for the expedited service. Every single 4090 that come in for repair has expedited. As a matter of fact, most of the stuff, most of the repairs that we get in are expedited. I mean, we cannot just do everything at once. People pay expedited so we can give them an expedited service, so we can do their device faster. Well, we have this laptop here. That's an Asus. We have another Asus motherboard right here, and that's a different animal of an Asus, a different one. We have a memory stick right here. M.2, we have a fob, we have another one, and we have an SD card data recovery. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and he took one more, nine. Nine more things to get done. Right, let me just Hit the board again quick. I wasted a lot of time with the customer and the board already got cold. But we have low melt, so it's not a problem. And look at this, the connector is already moving. Thanks to the magic of low melt solder. I always mention the magic of low melt. The connector is out. How long did it take? Five seconds? Wow. And now while the board is hot, we're gonna use the solder sucker, the NF dot sucker. Now it's gonna be hard to show you how this NF dot sucker works because the sucker is taller than the distance from my microscope to the bench. I've showed it in a lot of videos for all new viewers. You can search NF dot sucker and you'll see it. While the board is still hot, we're gonna suck all the solder from the holes. All right, I think we're good. Wow, look at this. We sucked solder from all the holes, and awesome, amazing.
Let's clean up. Awesome. Let me grab a connector. Usually I like to make a cup of tea while I'm working, but I stopped that because I make the cup of tea, it's hot, nice and hot. I'm working on a device, customer comes in and the cup gets cold. So after we're done with this card, we have to do two more and then jump over to both laptops I have on my bench. And then all three key fobs, they came in with expedited service as well. Make sure all the pins are going inside the holes. Now I'm holding the connector from the bottom. I'm not gonna let go until we secure two or three pins. We do not want that connector to be crooked. Let's secure one more and then we can let go of the connector. And maybe this one, perfect. Let go. Apply flux, a lot of flux because flux is your friend. We need to apply the right amount of solder. Too much is not good and too little is not good. I work on those cards every day, so I got the hang of it. Too much is not actually bad, but it's gonna spill from the back. It's only aesthetics. That's how you know that you have a joint like no other, only on this channel. We're gonna go over the joints one more time, but I just wanna make sure that we are applying enough solder. And we have four more pins. Beautiful. Let's use our anti-glare light and see what difference it makes. We're gonna be using the Northwich Fix anti-glare light and look at this, look at the difference. Now you can see everything in more details. And if I wave at you, you can see my hand, right? And we're done. We did an amazing job. Let me clean up so you can see that piece of artwork. And every card is a different piece of artwork. Wow, look at this. Look at this. We want the twin brothers to look alike. Look at this and tell me this is not better than factory. Amazing. That's the connector right here. 
I have to cover my beautiful eyes before the camera can focus. The connector is right here. I do not want to zoom in more because you may be blinded by the shine of the joints, just for your own good. And if we look at the front of the board, solder made its way all the way up to the pins, just the perfect amount of solder. Remove whatever access flux is on the edge of the board. We did it. I'm going to hand the card over to Big Boss to reassemble and test. We're going to invoice and mail it back to the customer. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll do something else in the next video. I'll be working on the second card in just a few minutes.